Lillian, seventh grade and ready for lesson 98. Yeah, you're right, we skipped 97. We'll get back to it eventually. But 98 is a little more important right now. Because in lesson 98, we're talking about determining if something is a function or just a relation. So we're talking about relations and functions. And there is a difference, all right? All functions are relations, but not all relations are functions. All right? Very simply, a relation is any pairing of two sets of information. That could be something like your jersey number on your basketball team paired with the number of points you make in a game. Two things connected together. All right? It could be uh, a name and a telephone number. It could be anything, really. As long as it's two sets, one thing goes with another. Then it's a relation. All right? Functions are different. Functions are a special branch of mathematics that we'll be heading into. All right? And so determining that something's a function or not is going to become pretty important. So pay attention. All right? While a relation is just any old pairing where you have two sets of information, one set we call the input, and that gets the value of x, gets graphed on the horizontal x-axis, and the other set of information we call the output, y, which would get graphed on the vertical axis. All right? That's a relation, any pairing. All right? But it becomes a function when you still have a pairing of two sets of information, but each of the inputs, whatever x is, has exactly one and only one output. You put something in, and it becomes something. All right? And if you put the same thing in, it's going to be the same thing. It can't be anything different. And we can test that, all right? There are ways to determine whether something's a function or a relation, which is the whole point of this lesson. It's basically a yes or no question. Do these two sets of information show a functional relationship? And the answer is either yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. All right? So we've got some inputs and outputs here, all right? If I have an input here, I get an output there. I have an input here, I get an output there. I have an input here, I get an output here. All right? One relationship between things. All right? Here, I have an input here, I get an output here. I have an input here, I get an output here. But notice that here I have the same input, but I have a different output. This is a problem. All right? It's a relation, but it's not a function. This is what I mean by having one input, but two outputs. All right? You see that? There's one input here. All right? And that gives you two different outputs. Whereas here, every single input has exactly only one output. All right? We say, yes, this is a function. This is the killer right here because you got two outputs that go with one input. So we say, no, this is not a function. All right? And that is what we call the vertical line test to determine if a relationship is a function. Very simply, if you draw a vertical line, straight up and down, on a graph, and it goes through that graph and passes only once through the graph, then it's a function. If it hits the graph more than once, it's a relation, not a function. So, for example, we look at here's a graph, all right, something called a parabola, and here's another graph, something called a hyperbola, all right? The vertical line test says that if you just draw a vertical line, straight up and down, and it hits one place, that's good. But that should happen everywhere, all right? Notice that it's hitting one place only. Every place you draw a vertical line, it's passing through that graph in one place. And that is the vertical line test, and that says, yes, this is a function. It has passed the vertical line test because drawing a vertical line only hits it in one place. 
Over here, I draw a vertical line. Notice that I have one input value right here, but I've got two output values. The vertical line has passed through the graph in two places, more than once. That blows it immediately. No, this is not a function. Notice that any place I draw the vertical line, it's going to pass through two places. And that means it's not a function. Whereas here, if I draw a vertical line, it's only passing through one place. Vertical line test is the easiest way if you've got a graph of something. Take a look at these three things. The question is, do these graphs show a function or not? I look at this and I draw some vertical lines here. And I see that every place, it's only going to go through one of the points on the graph. So we say, yes, that represents a function. Here I've got a circle. But if I draw a vertical line, oops, that's going to pass through there and there. That fails the vertical line test. No, not a function. What about just a straight line, linear algebra? We draw some vertical lines and we see that it's only passing through at one place. Yes, that represents a function. And that's the vertical line test. All right. Now, sometimes you're given solution sets. All right. And you're asked, do these sets represent a function? Well, remember the key is for every x value, there has to be exactly just one y value associated with that x value. So what we're looking for here are is then when we have the same x value, do we get the same y value? Here, this x value goes with 6, but the same x value goes with 8. No, not representing a function. All right. 5 with 1, 7 with 3, 4 with 3. It doesn't matter that there's more than one y value. This 4 goes with 3 only once. That's the key. Do the x's rep go with only one value? We look at something like this. We say 1 goes with 2, 2 with 3, 3 with 4, 4 with 5, 5 with 6, 4 with 5. Well, here we've got 4, and here we have 4 again. But notice that both times it went with the one value. So we say, yes, this set represents a function. Now, if the same x value has more than one matching y value, it is not a function. So we can look at ordered pairs, right? This is an x and a y value. x, y, x, y, x, y. And here I see I've got a 1 that's matched with a 2 a 2 that's matched with a 3, and here's another 1. But now it's matched with a 4 and not the 2. These are two different y values for the same x value. And if we were to graph this, look what we have. 1, 2, 2, 3, and 1, 4. And a vertical line would go through two y values. So we say no. This does not represent a function. 1 with 2, but here, 1 with 4. Remember, an x value can only go with one value. If it's the same x value, it's always got to have the same y value. Very simple, huh? All right. So you'll be asked to look at some things and determine whether or not the thing is a function or not. So lesson 98, please do A to D and 1 to 7, and have a good week.